My children were going to school at uh, Crosley Elementary School in Corpus Christi, Texas. And the way I got involved in understanding the environment I live in is one night they came home from school and said, Daddy, the refinery blew up. Of course, I said, yeah. You know how parents are, yeah. Mm -hmm. And Daddy, they put us underneath the desk. It was fun. Now I'm really listening. What is my child doing on the desk, underneath the desk? If the refinery is blowing up, that's not the safest place to be. And I learned later that this was called a shelter-in-place program. And needless to say, it was a suicide-in-place program, actually. I started to listen very carefully after that because I never saw anything in the paper. I didn't see anything on television. It wasn't two or three weeks later they came home and told me the same thing. And this time... It showed up on the news, 10 o'clock news, and I was outraged. And so a group of, of uh, concerned uh, people got together and said, you know, there's something wrong with the fact that our children are, putting in, are being put in danger, and we have to find out about it on the 10 o'clock news. So we had a meeting at some local churches, and uh, uh, as a result of those meetings, we formed a group called People Against Contaminated Environments, which is PACE, and I am the state executive director of that group. And I interacted with other groups and went to seminars. And I was, I was really outraged at the things that I found out that I had no knowledge of. I had never known that there was a group called TNRCC who was supposed to be protecting and serving. And after I, after I got that initial shock through my children, uh, then I had to get busy. Environmental injustices have also led to some socio-economic injustices because many of our so-called leaders make their living from the oil and gas industry. And I'm here to say today that the handwriting is on the wall. We will not allow you to deal in the souls of men. I will not allow you to trade my son and daughter that you might live deliciously. Yeah.